A common cause for confusion in people's home networks is that they have trouble identifying the internet equipment in their home. To make matters more complicated, depending upon the internet equipment they have, they'll need a different number of devices to provide their home with an internet connection. To help clear up some of this confusion, I'm gonna be talking about one of these internet device types today. Specifically, I'll be talking about modem router combination devices. I'll be explaining what they are, how they work, and most importantly, how to identify if you have one in your home network. So what exactly is a modem router combination device? Well, to be honest, it's almost exactly what it sounds like. Most people are probably familiar with having a standalone modem and a standalone router in their home network, and a modem router combination is just a combination of the two. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? As I've stated in a previous video, you need both a modem and a router for a successful connection to the internet. A modem router combination device essentially just cuts to the chase. It provides the functionality of both a modem and a router all in one device just for your ease of management because you only need one device to connect your home to the internet. So in short, your modem will both provide your home with a connection to the internet, which is the functionality of the modem in your home network, and it also allows all of your devices to share that one connection. And that's the functionality of the router in your home network. Now there are some trade-offs for implementing a modem router combination device as opposed to using a standalone modem and router. That's a topic for another video, but today the focus is on just this one device. So now that you know how a modem router device works, let's talk about how you can identify if you have one in your home network or not. The easiest way to tell if you have a modem router combination device in your home network is to look at the number of devices you have providing your home with a connection to the internet. Obviously, if you have two devices, like this standalone modem and router, if you have two devices providing your home with a connection to the internet, then you know you don't have a modem router combination device. Conversely, if you only have one device that's connected to the internet, and it's providing your home with an internet connection, chances are you have a modem router combination device. Especially if you're renting your home networking equipment from your internet service provider, they usually give you a modem router combination device just because it's easier to manage and set up your internet connection. Another way to tell if you have a modem router combination device is to look at the lights on the device itself. Because this device is providing the functionality of a modem and a router, it should have lights that modems and routers have. Okay, to highlight what I mean here, let's take a look at these different lights. For example, these first lights up here, this down arrow, up arrow, and this little globe here, these are all lights that are usually found on modems. This is for your downstream connection, this is for your upstream connection, and this is your connection to the internet. Whereas if you look down at the other lights here, lower on the device, what you have here, the one, two, three, four, those are lights usually found on routers because it refers to the LAN ethernet ports on the back of the device. And it basically tells you, do I have a device connected via ethernet cable to the back of my router? And then obviously here, 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, your Wi-Fi is the responsibility of your router. So you'll usually see these lights on your router as well. So if you have all of these different kinds of lights on your modem router combination device, you know that's exactly what it is. Conversely, if you only see a fraction of these lights on your device, for example, you only see these top four lights here, you know that's your modem. These bottom lights here are for your router. So if they're not all on one device, you probably don't have a modem router combination. If you're still not sure if you have a modem router combination device, there's another foolproof method to check here, and that's by looking at the informational sticker on the device itself. You'll usually find on the bottom of the device, you can see here there's some stickers up here on the top and here on the bottom. Let's take a closer look at those and see what information that gives us. All right, if you look really closely here at this sticker, here it says Netgear, Nighthawk AX6, AX2700 Wi-Fi cable modem router. So that's the dead giveaway right there. The fact that it says modem router, that's telling you that it's a modem router combination device. Whereas if this was just a modem, it would say modem, 
If it was a standalone router, it would say router. This is a really good foolproof method to use because every modem and router that I've come across has an informational sticker with this information. So you might wanna check this one out first if you're not sure what device you have. Now that you know how to identify a modem router combination device in your home, you can ask the next most important question, which is, should you even have a modem router combination device in your home or should you have a standalone modem and router? This is going to be the topic of my next video, so make sure you stay tuned. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.